Hello, I'm Chaplain Byron Denman. This is Chats with the Chaplain. Today I wanted to talk to you about probably the only two authors that I really have ever read and enjoyed. One of them is J.R.R. Tolkien. He is the author of the Lord of the Rings series, The Hobbit, and that stuff. And he's got a lot of really deep content. There's a lot of hidden meaning about what humanity looks like and, and all of that. And it's just really engaging. And for somebody like me who doesn't really read all that much, it's rare to find stories that draw me in quite like that. The other author who has a similar impact on my life is Stephen King. I don't really read his books too much anymore, but there was a time when I was reading everything that he published. I even stood in line to wait for the newest release of a part seven of a book series that he has written. One of the things that I realized probably about halfway through my adult life was that Stephen King actually credits J.R.R. Tolkien for his own work. So he says, Stephen King says, that when he read The Lord of the Rings, he was so enthralled in everything that Tolkien had done, he realized he had to create something that had a similar impact. He realized that he couldn't do it in a way like Tolkien had done with the orcs and the goblins and the dwarves and that sort of thing. I don't know if you've read those books, but if you haven't, that's what's in them. Stephen King had to find his own voice, but definitely the Tolkien influence was there. Now, each one of us, as we go through our own lives, we've got others who are influencing us. Maybe you recognize it, and maybe you don't. But just like Stephen King does eventually come to grips with the fact that he can't be Tolkien. He has to be his own person. He has to write in his own style. He has to live his own life. But that doesn't mean the influence doesn't matter. And in your lives, all of these people are trying to mold you one way or another. Some of them are good. Some of them are not so good. Sometimes it's very obvious, hey, you need to change this about yourself. Sometimes it's less so. It's through the little comments they make every day. But either way, Everyone you invite into your life has an influence of some sort. So my question for you today is, who are you allowing to influence you? I'm Chaplain Byron Denman.